brand new company out in the market uh, called uh, Revance. And they're introducing these products called RHA. RHA is resilient hyaluronic acid that comes in, you know, categories of uh, thickness, or two, three, and four. Two is the thinnest product that can be used for fine lines. Three is a bit thicker and four is the thickest. So depending on the provider's preference and areas of treatment of the face, you could choose which are, whichever one that you want to use. So this, um, this is how the product looks right here. This is the class three product. It looks like a normal hyaluronic acid product. And I've never used this before. This is my first time. And I have a brave volunteer that uh, is uh, volunteering to do this. So it looks like a normal you know, syringe of a product. It comes in a one cc syringe like this. And in her case, where, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do a little bit of injection along the lower part of the face in this area, general area, right here. I just finished actually injecting the RHA4 product, one syringe on this side, one syringe on this side just a few minutes ago, which I think you guys missed obviously because we just started the live, but I put one syringe here, one syringe here of the RHA4 class of product, which is a bit thicker, and I'm gonna do the three uh, in this area and in this area. And the way I do this really is with a micro cannula. I like to use cannulas because uh, they're a bit uh, more forgiving. Uh, you know, this is the micro cannula. Uh, this is a long blunt needle tip or it's really not a needle, but a, just a tip, and it has a little hole there. And this is similar to fat grafting. When I do fat grafting, I do similarly, but with a little thicker bore needle or a cannula. And so this is what I use. And so in this case, the way it's done is, I'll show you. Let me have a gauze. So a 1cc RHA3 product. I'm gonna have her tilt her chin up just a little bit. And I'm gonna make a little entry point here. Like that. And I'm going to find that hole, which usually is easy, sometimes it's difficult, right there. And this already has a lidocaine in it, or a numbing medicine in it, so it does numb it as the things go in. And I'm gonna kind of guide it where I want it I'm going to start injecting it. So kind of with one entry, I can pretty much do the whole area very comfortably. And this type of technique, uh, I find particularly atraumatic or non-traumatic, very little bruising, if any. And I'm going very, very slow. I'm putting it, trying to put it across the same depth. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. So this is T, Tioxane is the actual name of the product uh, called RHA in the United States, but in the, in the European countries, uh, they call it Tioxane. It's a Swiss manufacturer uh, made there in Europe. So I'm gonna keep going back same location you doing okay mm -hmm. it flows fairly well I mean it's got a good resistance so I know it doesn't just blurred out at one point if you push too hard. So that's important for a provider because you have a good uh, feedback mechanism to know that you're not putting too much in one location and waste the product. So that's the whole thing. And usually after I do this, can I get some aquaphor again, please? Uh, this is something that patients ask all the time, do I need to massage or something? But I recommend that they don't. 
I usually do it, open your mouth for me. And I just kind of do a, you know, this is, can be called a bi, bi manual or bi-directional, you know, massage. So I just kind of put my finger inside to give me a platform, use the other one on the outside. And sometimes I can use both and just kind of work it in. So it lays down very smoothly and goes where I want it to go like that. And uh, I'll show you in just a minute. There's no bruising whatsoever. In one spot I went in and I injected the whole area. So with this microcannula technique, with the product, the right product put in the right way, the patients can pretty much get this done and go right back to work immediately with very little risk of bruising or swelling or anything. As a 